Hello there. How are you? I hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end. Welcome back on my channel. You're listening to Light Channelings once again and today I am back with a new card reading for all of you. Before starting with today's card reading, I'd like to express my gratitude towards all of those people who are supporting my channel, appreciating my work, showering me with their love and are also contributing in the form of their generous donations thank you so much for your loving support and encouragement it truly makes a difference and it really means a lot thank you so much once again may god bless you with whatever you need or desire at this point of time for your highest good okay that's all let's get back with the card reading okay Reading is beautiful, reading is positive, reading is uplifting and reading shows that there is hope at the end of the tunnel if you're hoping for something positive to happen in your situation or if not, you're not looking for anything but just want a closure, you'll get that as well. If that's what you want in this situation or with this connection your counterpart right now is struggling with guilt sorrow resentment depression anxiety restlessness and regret for cheating on you mistreating you betraying you breaking your heart and your trust and listening to other people their gossip and their biased opinions about you they are beating themselves up they are carrying a huge burden which is weighing heavy on their heart about how they've treated you and abused you actually all throughout this journey and have kept you waiting for years and months they know they are the reason for the suffering they've caused you or that you're enduring right now. They know because of their unwise choices and decisions and their tendency to listen other people, their tendency to please other people, especially their friends or family members or prioritize everything else over you has brought an ending in between both of you and has caused almost an complete destruction within your connection. They feel as if no, no hope is left for this connection to work out and it's very unlikely that now you are going to accept them back is what they are thinking and feeling they are assuming the worst case scenarios right now they are meditating over the situation and they are thinking heavily about what could have they've what could they've done differently and what should they be doing right now they are thinking about all the could'ves should'ves ifs and buts right now one of the things they regret the most is listening to other people over you they know they have realized they have received that epiphany that the reason behind the breakup and the separation in between both of you this painful ending that has happened in between both of you is that of listening to other people their opinions and their judgments which were completely biased and were, was, and were stemming out of jealousy, envy and ego 
those other people were carrying especially against you there is something about you which triggers people a lot and it makes them act out of character because you act like a mirror and that's something they intuitively know already they are able to understand that the people who provoked them to do something as an insult towards you directly or, in, uh, or indirectly were just hating on you for no reason they were jealous of you possibly threatened of your power position and authority in your counterpart's life if they would have given any of that to you they didn't wanted that to happen especially their mother or sister or any female feminine figure in their life it could be one of their friends who thinks that she is superior than you that's why uh, you need to be shown your place something like that which is very very toxic especially their mother is what i am seeing that's what's being highlighted here she is the one who keeps on filling in your counterpart's ears against you by triggering their ego they did something very very deceptive actually uh because people turned them against you by saying that you are controlling dominating manipulative authoritative and arrogant because you have got a secure job or you are self employed you are running your own business or an entrepreneur that's why they shouldn't be paying any attention to you because you are not worth it and that gave a hit to your counterpart's ego and they thought that yes that's the right thing to do if she thinks that she is superior than me that's how they were thinking when they did all of that they did in the past if she thinks that she is superior than me and she's going to reject me that's that's the kind of scenarios they were imagining in their mind at that point of time i'll give her i'll give her an answer i'll show her her real place and value that i have for her in my life and that's how they did whatever they did it's becoming very clear and very visible to your counterpart right now and i'm going to repeat again their mother their sister or their friend or all of them or their friends toxic friends are actually behind this conspiracy they did that they turned your counterpart against you but it's not like your counterpart is a silly young lad who doesn't know anything better they just used one of the weaknesses your counterpart has their ego which they have no control over and anyone can use that to get what they want by just triggering their ego and hitting their ego or just boosting their ego which is very very unfortunate but it, that's what happened and now your counterpart is thinking that all hope is lost and there is no hope left they are regretting their decisions and choices they cannot sleep at night because they think they've lost you for good and there is no going back from here from now they're stalking you like anything right now they are keeping tabs on you because now they are able to feel that you are moving on from them and you don't want to do anything with them now you don't want to keep any kind of contact with them you do not want to remain in touch you don't even want to look back at them you're not even interested in knowing what it is they are doing in their life or things like that and you are not at all impressed with whatever it is they are achieving or doing in their life and that's what triggers them the most that that is triggering them triggering them like anything they are thinking over everything right now because they are sleep deprived they cannot sleep at night what else they are going to be doing 
they are not feeling your energy anymore instead they are feeling as if you are alienating them and withdrawing your energy day by day and you're focusing on yourself or something else or someone else which is their worst nightmare seeing you with someone else is going to destroy their world is what they think feel and believe and with some of you that's what's going to happen and that's what's going to be the karma for this individual for mistreating you like this and emotionally abusing you your connection and your love because of other people that's what's going to happen if you guys are uh, meant to come back together i'll say even in that situation that's going to happen because this person needs to get a shake up before getting back with you they need to understand how it's going to feel seeing you with someone else seeing someone else showering we showering you with all the love respect honor and dignity dignity they were supposed to be giving to you and with all of that they need and deserve to feel the kind of pain they've brought to you by choosing other people it's it's only going to happen when they'll see you giving love and your precious attention to someone else who's going to be more deserving of that at that point of time i am not going to tell you anything if that's going to work out or not because i just gave you a declaration if you guys are meant to come back together then universe is going to make a way out for both of you to reunite reconcile and reconnect and then sort out your issues but still they need to feel that and that's what's going to happen even if uh that happens on a surface level even if they just uh start to believe that you're dating someone else that's enough to bring this person in your shoes and get the taste of their own medicine before anything can change in that situation i'm seeing that happening they can feel you are moving away you do not want to deal with them and this drama anymore you are like okay you do whatever you want to do i don't have any interest looking back at you or just looking at you while doing while you are doing all of this to me and now they are confused and indecisive as to what they should be doing there is conflict in their mind space mental space right now and the pain they are feeling because you are moving away from them is making them crazy right now they deserve that i am not going to sympathize with what with whatever this person is going through not even uh empathize but it's not like that i'm being rude i'm just saying that this is needed okay uh just cut some slack here and don't hate on me for saying that i'm just saying that this is needed sometimes you have to practice tough tough love you cannot uh, always be nice easy and easily available to people especially people who are ruled over by their own ego arrogance and pride and who have no sense as to how much power and authority they should be giving to other people over their life and over themselves this person needs to learn that and they will not learn that easy way universe will have to intervene and they will get a kick back down below down there that's only how this person is going to learn if it's your counterpart they know that they've mistreated you because they started comparing you with others and comparing you with themselves and at that point of time they were nowhere near a match with you they were just imagining things and assuming different scenarios and they just wanted to put you down and just win you win over you over something i don't know what was going on in their mind possibly their subconscious fears got triggered when they saw you moving up at the ladder of success or just doing you minding your own business they thought they are you are rejecting them or you are feeling as if you are somewhere up ahead of them something like that actually 
this is a creation of other people it's nothing more than that but still they are also responsible for how they've treated you they are the one who treated you and mistreated you and insulted you and ab abused you yes people do such things because they are envious and jealous but at the end of the at the end of the day you are responsible for how you treat your partner your person and your counterpart they are acting out of their character because that's who they are how the hell can you act out of your character don't you have any sense any morals any values and and any principles so this is what this person is going to learn now they are thinking and feeling they've destroyed everything because you are the biggest blessing in this person's life and once you're gone their luck is gone that's how karma works and that's what's going to happen with this individual right now but still they are not letting you go they are not letting you go they're holding on to you because again i'll repeat you are their biggest blessing they cannot let you go like this so easily they are assuming worst case scenarios right now but still they are not like they are not going to let you go they will still work on finding a way but uh, yes you guys are going to attract some upheavals and obstacles in this connection before something good can happen okay somewhere i see that uh, their father or someone who is like a mentor in your counterpart's life doesn't dislike you as much as those people in their friend circle or family they have a liking for you to some extent because uh, somewhere this person is able to see that you are working on yourself on your own all alone you are growing and glowing on your own without anyone's help help i'm sorry that inspires them to like you actually and let go of their dislike or detest and like those other other individuals in the family this is going to resonate with few of you can't say for everyone but i'm still seeing that it is a possibility which is good okay they will end things with other people who are blocking this connection in divine right timing this person is going to receive the clarity and they'll let go of their obsessive thinking over analyzing and remaining stuck in situations which are not for their highest good i see that for some of you the reunion that you're supposed to be getting with this counterpart or that which is in stars for you or is in the cards as some of the some of them say is on the horizon it's going to happen very soon okay this can happen within the next few months or weeks for a lot of you they will communicate and i see that some of you are going to actually sign your marriage certificate or agreement of some kind where which is going to bind you two together with each other as an institution if that's what you consider in marriage okay i just see you two working together as a team possibly life partners if that's what's going to happen but you are going to come back together and you'll work on something as a team and as i said i see some of you signing papers or signing your marriage contract marriage certificate registration i can't explain how it works in your country your state or city 
it depends but it's going to happen is what i'm saying if your if your counterpart mistreated you by reconnecting with someone else from their past or by trying to make you jealous one second with someone else by giving someone else attention priority or place in their life or they were just being extremely careless and neglectful towards you and they did not consider your feelings and emotions and needs in this connection i see that changing they will let go of that they'll be forced to leave that situation it's going to be forced upon them by divine and that situation is going to get dissolved for everyone's highest good it will happen if if it's not happening right now it will happen is what i'm seeing so to summarize this reading and wrap it up i'll just say that the losses you've experienced the pain you've experienced is not going to go in vain the work you've done on yourself or for the betterment of this connection when you were getting nothing but abuse despise and hatred from other people you are going to get rewarded for that your counterpart is going to return they'll ask for help from other people to reconnect back with you or to rekindle a relationship with you they will come back and i see the family issues are also going to get dissolved for everyone's highest good but it will happen when they'll see you grow and evolve and glow even more than what you're doing right now their hatred their ego their pride and arrogance everything is going to diminish and they will become humble but again i'll repeat it will happen when it's supposed to be it's not the div divine right timing for a lot of you right now so you need to be patient is what universe is saying that's not what i am saying right now your wishes are going to get granted but things are not quite ready yet so uh, let go of the situation is what they are saying meditate focus on yourself something is going to happen in the very near future which is going to turn something around in your favor that doesn't mean union is going to happen that soon yes for some of you as i said for a uh, a good amount of people i see reunion happening very very soon in the very near future just like how i channeled in one of my previous channelings yes that's going to happen but but with a lot of you you need to give it time you need to give it space if that's what you want and if you just want closure then just speak your truth and let your counterpart know that you do not want to deal with them but before that be clear about your intentions wants and desires okay you wouldn't want to do anything just because you're angry and upset over them you have to be clear as to what it is that you want if you actually do not want to be with this person then only state that and tell them that it's fine that they came back and they are apologizing you are most willing to forgive and forget but you are not willing to accept them back because you have other priorities or you do not just want to reconnect back with them for your personal reasons whatever it is it's up to you i am not saying or telling you anything that which you do not want to do i am just saying that just be clear about your wants and desires okay communicate clearly and just know that this situation will improve the situation will improve take action towards your dreams goals ambitions and desires don't forget that nothing is going to come out of this connection if you're not focusing on your soul purpose soul mission or life purpose at all nothing is going to happen not even one single thing is going to change if you're not focusing on yourself and for some of you i see you will get your desired outcome when 
either you will move out of the place you're living in right now or they'll once one or both of you are going to change jobs and locations and are going to re relocate to a new situation location job place residence anything of that sort okay so this was the reading and i hope you enjoyed listening to me and this brought some sense of clarity if that's what happened give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such readings messages guidance and channelings with that being said if you'd like to support this channel and my work you can simply follow the link given in the description box below that's all for now i'll be back very soon till that time please take care of yourself and your loved ones and i saw number 2552 right when i said that so let's end it here here take care bye bye